Welcome to One on One. Today we feature Matt Larson, director of the Modern Army Combatives Program, and most recently, tournament director at the 2007 Army Combatives Invitational Tournament. Listen in as he talks with our Gail McCabe. So Matt, what brought about the interest in the combative form of fighting? If you ask soldiers in the, around the Army today who the best runner in their unit is, almost everybody can tell you. That's something we value in the Army. But if you ask them who the best shot is, or who the best fighter is, they may not necessarily know, because we don't do those things every day in front of each other. So that's good if we're going to run from the enemy, but if we're going to run towards them, the shooting and fighting will become important. And it's really as simple as just making people do it. What is the present day application? Well, imagine when you bang into, you know, when you bang through a door into a, a, a room in Iraq, how big do you suppose the room is? You know, maybe eight, 10 feet deep? When you get in that door, it's not a marksmanship contest and all your technology doesn't help. At that point, it's a fight. And so you have to be prepared for it. And the competition, how does it factor in? Well, the competition is really a leadership tool to motivate people to train. Before last year's Army Championships, we had never had a, a division or post championship that went to the advanced rules. This year we had several across the Army that we're having. And the number of people coming every year and the number of competitions is going up. Basically, as people learn what we do in combatives, it spreads. Is this voluntary? Combatives is one of the basic warrior tasks, and so it's for every soldier. They train it right now in basic training. It's in every NCOS and OES course. In fact, AR 350-1 requires that commanders not only have competitions, but also do scenario training. You're teaching hand-to-hand -hand combat, but you're also teaching rules of engagement. It kind of defeats the purpose, doesn't it? You know, soldiers have to be able to operate across the spectrum of force. The same soldiers that are, you know, doing peacekeeping type operations today could be fighting for their lives this afternoon. So we have to be, we have to be sophisticated enough in our training to, to teach them to handle whatever situation. What would you have our listeners know about Army combatives? I would say that every soldier needs to know who the best fighter in their unit is. Best in their squad, best in their platoon, best in their company. And the way that we can affect that from the top is we can let them know who the best ones in the Army are. And these fighters you're seeing here today, they've been training for years because they're soldiers. I mean, it only makes sense that soldiers would be the best fighters around. And that's what these guys are. You've been listening to a one-on-one -on -one with Matt Larson, director of the Modern Army Combatives Program. For more information on Army Combatives, check out their website, moderncombatives.org.